Hello everyone and welcome to another video from the Tiny Menagerie. If you're currently keeping fish that like to hide and you never see them, then it's highly likely you are in need of the services of some dither fish. These brave but non-threatening species will be out in the open, proving to your shy fish that there are no predators around, and that's hopefully going to lull them into coming out of hiding as it's proven that the coast is now clear. And so, here are 10 perfect dither fish for your tank. Number one, and we are starting with the classic, of course, the most go-to dither fish of them all, the zebra danio. These small danios are likely the most popular dither fish, thanks to their small size, only reaching about two inches in length, and that's for quite a big one, and the fact that they tend to be very cheap and very widely available. They are fast and constantly moving fish that will be endlessly patrolling around your tank, going right the way from the water surface down to the substrate. This can be slightly manic, especially in a smaller tank, but given enough space, they are remarkably soothing to watch with their constant gentle activity. As a plus, zebras are also very hardy, and they can live in both heated and unheated tanks, making them very useful for a wide variety of different shy fish. But if the manicness is slightly putting you off, but you want something very similar in terms of how hardy it is and tank requirements, then try looking to the Pearl Danio instead. They are nearly as easy to get hold of Zebra Danios, and they have a very nice pearly sheen to their sides rather than the stripes. And they're still very active and they will swim around constantly. They just don't have the same speed that the Zebras have. So they never feel like they're quite so overexcited. This is perfect for a mellower tank, especially if you're looking for dithers to keep with breeding cichlids, for example. And for an even more mellow ditherer, you can look no further than the cherry barb. These small barbs only grow to about two inches in length, much like the danios. They are active and brave and always out in the open, but they are much, much more sedata companion compared to danios. They have a very slow, gentle swimming style rather than that fluttering about all over the place. They also have the benefit that both males and females look remarkably different, and they both have very appealing coloration, so you're kind of getting two fish for the price of one. Just be sure though to make sure you get both males and females, so that you get the best coloration from both of the genders. These are ideal if you're looking for a small sized red or golden fish, if you're wanting to keep them, especially with the more shyer, larger fish like Garamis, or any of the bigger bottom dwelling fish, such as the larger loaches. They tend to be too big to be eaten, but still nice and gentle. And taking that activity level down even further, there are quite a few tetra species that make really good dithers as they tend to be very comfortable out in the open. And some are perhaps most generously described as energy conserving. Basically, they are lazy. They do not like to move around very much in the tank at all. They are just very present. They have enough of this presence for shy fish to see that there's no other predators around, but they're definitely not going to distract your attention from the showpiece fish. And of these tetras, black neons are particularly great for this. They're not too large, only reaching about 1.5 inches in length. And while they are very handsome fish in their own right, if you look at them closely with that nice blue streak that runs down their sides, their black coloration stops them from being too attention grabbing. You're more likely to just spot one in the tank rather than be like, wow, look at that one. Ideal if you're trying to find a dither fish for a heavily planted, dimly lit tank, but you don't want that dither to be too attention grabbing. Next on our list, we have the fake tiger barb, also known as the five banded barb, or the aquarium version of the six banded barb, usually listed in shops though as the five banded barb. These small colourful barbs can themselves actually be very prone to being shy if they are kept with very boisterous fish, or anything that's going to chase them, for example. But in a heavily planted tank, they are wonderful at bringing out those lurking fish, the ones that like to sneak around in the shadows so that you virtually never see them. Things like the smaller specialist garamis, sparkling garami, chocolate garami, for example. Also the smaller loaches, such as the black coolie loaches, which can be terrible for hiding, and also the very shy Corydora species, such as the Venezuelans and even the Sturbis. The only thing to be wary of with five-banded barbs, as well as any other barb really, is that they are voracious feeders when there's food around, so you'll just have to make sure that your shy fish are definitely getting enough to eat. 
Next on our list though is a Corydorus, and pygmies have the benefit over other Cory species that they only reach about one inch in length and so you can keep really quite a large number of them in quite a moderate size of tank. They also occasionally swim up in the water column as well as on the substrate, and so these very small quarries are ideal for bringing out shy fish that occupy that lower third of the tank, such as some of the larger tetras like the phantom types, as well as shy catfish like cynodontis or whiptails, as well as of course all of the different varieties of quarry who tend to be very happy to school with each other. Just beware though that as pygmies are themselves very small, they can easily become a snack for larger bottom feeding fish. Next on our list is the opposite of small as we have the golden panchax, a surface dwelling killy type fish that can itself get quite large with males getting up to four inches in length. Goldens feed mostly at the surface of the water, and their large side makes them ideal for keeping larger shy fish who like that upper third of the tank. So for example, the larger garamis, such as the pearls, as well as archer fish and hatchet fish. They also have the benefit that they are a very slow moving fish. They do not get very active at all at the top of the tank. And so despite being up there, they're unlikely to snatch away all of the food. Is worth bearing in mind though that the male only reach about four inches in length, but he has a very big mouth for such a narrow fish, and they cannot be kept with very small fish such as baby neons or any of the tiny rasboras, anything like that, because they will all become a snack. And the next fish on the list is one that you wouldn't typically think of as your average dither fish. Tiger barbs in all of their varieties can be very boisterous, and they can in fact be one of the fish that leads shy fish into hiding. But if you have larger shy fish, in particular the larger cichlids such as the acaras or big loaches like clown loaches, then tigers are bold to the point of fearless, but they don't show any interest at all in larger fish, so they can be very suitable as dithers for these bigger cousins of theirs. They also look particularly spectacular if you can keep them in a large group in with bigger fish. And you just need to bear in mind the fact that being barbs, they are very greedy feeders and they will quite happily eat every single bit of food that goes into the tank with them. And you'd be amazed at how much a big school can get through. So you might find yourself forking out an awful lot more money for food than you were expecting. The next fish on our list though, is one that's not going to give you that problem certainly. Harlequins only grow to about one inch from the tip of the nose to the tip of their tail. They are very happy being out in the open, but they're not particularly active and they're not particularly greedy neither. They are just active enough though to give a sense of security and safety, in particular to other small fish, and especially their smaller cousins, the micro rasboras, such as exclamation points and chilies, for example. Now, obviously, as youngsters, these micros shouldn't be kept with anything. They are far too small and everything will just see them as a snack. But shy adult microfish will really benefit from having another small fish with them who's a bit more confident without being manic, and the harlequin is perfect for this role. Also, again, because they don't stand out too much, and they give that added security to signify a safe environment, so it's still going to be the micros that you're looking at, but they'll be brave enough to be out in the open where you can see them rather than hiding. And the last fish on our list is by no means the least. It is the classic of the classics. You can't get much more classic than a white cloud minnow. I mostly keep the golden variety these days, but the information also accounts for the standard. All white clouds are the same. They are all ideal dither fish. In fact, they might just be perfect for it. They are fast enough to keep themselves out of trouble if you're keeping them with fish that are aggressive or have a bullying tendency. They are also completely harmless in themselves and won't do any damage to other fish, and they can be kept with even the most slow moving or most gentle of other fish without so much as nipping a single fin. They're also active without being manic, making them ideal for keeping with fish like angels or cichlids who are breeding, anything like that where it is going to be a fish that's easily stressed out, but they're not so sedentary that they're not going to be entertaining for you to watch too. 
they are also extremely easy to find, they are extremely easy to breed, and so you can start off with a small group or even a pair, and with just a little tiny bit of effort you can breed your way up to a nice big shoal. They're also suitable for both warm and cool waters. What more is there to want from a ditherfish? In fact, I'm going to call white cloud minnows the ideal ditherfish in 99.9% .9 of situations. But there you have it. 10 small fish that make perfect dithers. I hope you've enjoyed this little video. Happy fish keeping everyone, and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye!